Hi everyone, I'm Thomas Perugolas. I am the head of the Creative Technologies major. Um, in this webinar, we will just like discover a little bit more about the Creative Technologies uh, major, what it is about, what you will learn, what you can go with after, what are the skills that you will obtain and that you will be able to reuse after, especially that. So um, first, um, you you have a website to present the major, which is displayed right here, creative-technologist.glitch.me. So here we go. Um, to quickly present what is the Creative Technologists, um, basically first it refers to the name of a profession that you can go with after this major, obviously, but it's open a lot of um, different direction that you can go with. Um, basically, the creative technologist um, is crossing multiple specialties. In this major, we'll focus on three of them, which are displayed on my screen. Um, the digital project management, also the design part, especially on UI and UX, sorry, for user experience. And then we are also focused on technologies, um, like mostly on new technologies, such as uh, the web, the um, artificial intelligence, the fab lab technologies, the IoT also, the intelligence of things, um, like everything related to, to electronic and stuff like this. So this is like the kind of technologies which are uh, seen in this major but obviously if you have like if you want to go with something else we are totally open to help you and learn more about this but the main courses that you will have are dedicated to these technologies um, so i was talking about the creative technologist um, the second thing is that you won't directly after the major become a data analyst or an engineer or anything like that the main purpose of this major is to like it's to make you able to act as a product owner to decide which technology use in a project uh, which design tool to make like to help the project progression basically to make it more fluid to basically in a team project or even as an entrepreneur to make everything more fluid that's the main purpose. Uh, also having like a flexible approach in your projects. So as you can see, like you won't become a specialist in a particular field, but you will be able to be like fluent to have like many different roles in a project to be able to embody different uh, labor fields. So basically to show what you can go with. I will go to the continuation place. Um, this is the main field of studies or of labor that the, the people which followed the creative technologies major carry on. So 20% of them are continuous studies like in many different fields, but mostly in data analysis, product management, design and stuff like this, also in engineering. Um, then for every other stuff, it's like after the major, people start working and they start working with a job where they have like these places, such as data analyst for the most part, also product manager, um, especially in like digital project mainly. Also in fields such as design, so interface, um, user experience and stuff like this. Also, 5% of them are going to creative technologies job. I quickly explain what is a creative technologist, but you will find more information about this. We will carry on in a few seconds. And then you have like all these different job fields that you can go with after the major. Um, for this major, you, you will like communicate with the, the alumni which followed the creative technologies major. So we will be able to answer most of the questions that you could have about like um, what I can go with, what is the best way to go after, etc. But you will also be able to directly reach the elder student and 
just discuss with them in order to get the most information and the most uh, impactful information because they're like most of them are in a job or in study so they will be able to help you for the most part okay so we will go back to the top especially here to present uh, like all the objective that we will go on in the major <clears throat> um oh no first before i continue also um as you can wonder like the major is in full english because the most part of the students are with multiple nationalities so that's why it's um, all the courses all the pedagogy is uh, like everything is in english basically so that's it for the presentation of the job and the major in its global parts. Um, then for the objective, as I was saying, you like you won't be um, a specialist. You will be more like a people which is able of unsiloted the digital job. So by this, I mean like being able to create bridge or bound between different technologies, different jobs, like working along uh, engineer, product owner, and stuff like this, and being able to like coordinate all of those fields. So that's the main purpose of a creative technologist. Um, okay, that's it for that part, for the English part, and for the, okay, so that's it. Um, then about the different kind of skills that you may go with in the major, they are listed here, so I will quickly go with them. Um, you will gain the ability to prototype fast, uh, innovative solution mostly by yourself. By this, I mean that you will like gain some technical, uh, like you will gain on some technical stuff, as I was saying, especially in the web, artificial intelligence, and IoT fields. Like all these tools will help you to quickly prototype, but I will like re-explain it a little bit later. Um, that's like the whole palette that you will develop as design tools, but we will see them in a few minutes, um, which leads to my second point. To my second point, you will be able to lead some user tests, like going to field, um, getting some pain points from user, uh, being able to um, like to go with a pain point that you no make sense and that you will be able to prototype to give a solution to that pain point for this you will go with many different tools to discover this pain point and then to test your id to prototype to test and that's this part being able to lead user test to make choices to being able to problematize stuff like all this kind of tool and then being able to iterate i will carry on and then explain it a little bit later. Um, okay, so you will be able to design stuff also and to implement them like in real projects as, um, as a product owner, maybe you will be able like to reuse all the skills from the major and being capable to use them in a, in a work environment as a, as a professional. Also, you will be able to understand and identify the most relevant technologies and implement them in a project. Um, if you cannot like implement them directly, you will be able to work along engineers or people that have this knowledge and know how to work with this, know to how, know to use the tool, etc. But you will be able like to discuss with them, to have them vocabulary and everything that will make like the communication fluid and you will be able to lead them in the good direction because you can understand where we are trying to make the project go and stuff like this, uh, which is also the, the next point. And then, yeah, there is um, a good part of that, which is about the creativity. It's not like um, the idea, the, like the skills of being able to be creative to create for, to create uh, stuff from scratch, but you will be able like to to get element from your environment, from the technology, from maybe like from the way that you will have, like being able to understand everything around you, and take the most part of it and use them in your project in what you want to create, 
or like being able to to feed your your project, the team you're working with, and make everything go faster and also make it like make the the team go stronger basically. Okay. Um, a little bit more about the pedagogy. It's um, because this major is proposed by the Makers Lab team, which is a fab lab within the EM Lyon. Um, me, I'm working from the Makers Lab. I am like giving some courses to the other students of the EM Lyon, and I'm also the head of this major. So that's why I'm presenting everything to you tonight. Um, to quickly present what are the Makers Lab, they are like spaces dedicated to the creativity, to the innovation, and the learning by doing. Um, you can get in the Makers Lab, you will discover many different machines, such as a laser cutting machines, such as 3D printer, um, like some machine of high technologies and also some machine from low technologies like screwdriver and stuff like this. The idea is that you get like the full panel that you may need to prototype your project. It starts with cardboard, it ends with 3D printing. It's like that's the idea. You will be able to um, discover this technology, know how to use them, and then being confident enough to prototype your idea. That's the main purpose of this place. And during the major, you will go with that basically you will go through this process and being confident enough to like create your idea and make them happen um, which is also called the rapid prototyping for that part um, in the makers lab you will also meet some like a team with a full knowledge for from all these machine and also on some particular field, such as the design, the web, the IoT, the artificial intelligence, and last but not least, the fabrication, which are all the different machines that I dealt with a little bit earlier. Basically, this course is about like, how, to, how do this technology exist in the nowadays environment, especially in the different companies? So how, do, how does it work? How does the technology is implemented? And how, as a product manager, manager, sorry, you can go with that and create stuff. So that's the main purpose behind the Makers Lab. And, and we are really proud of it in the um, Lyon. Um, for the Makers Lab and about the pedagogy especially, we have two main things that are like different from every other aspect of the school on the way we are providing the courses. First one is about the maker culture. Um, we believe in the learning by doing, like getting new skills by practicing, basically. Uh, in every courses from the maker's lab and especially in the major, each theoretical element contribution that you will have will be every time linked to some practical exercise or like anything that you will go with with your hand or try fail and redo why we why do we have that is basically to allow you to apply and ensure that you master the concept that you have just seen making sure that everything is clear if not like you have the Makers Lab team to help you to exchange with them and to make sure that everything is clear for you and that you can use that technology um, for your studies, like for your student life or after uh, in your job field that you are confident enough if you have to prototype, to go on with some laser cutting parts, to go with 3D printing, 3D modeling, like that you can feel confident to reuse that later to prototype your idea and make it more clearer. Then the second part of the um, culture around the Makers Lab is about the do-it-yourself, which is quite linked to the first one. I agree, but it's more about like being able to do stuff, to undo them, and to redo them. Like the idea is that you discover new stuff, you try, you try that technology, you make mistake. That's the main purpose of this place being allowed to make mistakes, to have failure, and then 
to discover, to try again, or to overcome them. That's the main idea of the pedagogy and also all the course that you will have in this major. Um, basically, you won't be graded on the results that you will produce, but more about all the process that you will go along and what you will get from this, like all the different skills that you will gain from your project. That's the main stuff about this course, being able to learn new stuff, apply them, and learn from your failure in order to make sure that you will grow stronger after that. OK, so that's it for the pedagogical part. Uh, we will carry on by presenting you a little bit more about the different courses that you may found in the, in the major. The first one will be collective intelligence. I will present it to you a little bit later. We will have um, courses more related to technologies, such as designing with web, which is web related. You will also have processing with AI, which is related to artificial intelligence. Then you will have connecting with IoT, which is related to everything between um, electronic to IoT. Then we have other formats, other process, such as the Makers Bootcamp, which is um, a three-day event that, that I will discuss a little bit later. And last but not least, which is UX Research. It's um, a new course that we will present to you on the next uh, semester. Um, this course is focus on the different design tool that you can use in a project. It's mainly a way to you to, to grow by using different methodology and tool from design theories, such as Double Diamond, such as um, user research, user interview, um, iteration process, um, like everything related to those. The idea is that in this course, you will be you will have time basically dedicated to discover new tool, use them, make your experience and get knowledge from that. And the idea is that you will carry on each week. It's, uh, it will last four weeks for this course, for this course, yes. And you will have like basically time to discover tool, try them, take knowledge, um, especially if next year you want to become, like to go in inter to go in internship in big companies or even to work on your own as a, <clears throat> sorry, as an auto-entrepreneur. I, sorry, I don't have the word in English, but like, uh, like go on and create your own company. This tool will be like really precious for you because you can reuse them and it will, help you not to fail your company and like go with a good method in order to to make everything like to make your project happen basically so that's it for the different courses uh, if you go back to the website to discover more about those um, for designing with web and processing with ai you can find a preview of the course i will quickly show it to you so okay i will move my head <clears throat> Uh, basically, all the courses from the Makers Lab will look like this. You will have different, basically, it's a website with different pages where you will be able to discover on your own, with your own path, with your, with your own rhythm, all the different knowledge and stuff like this. Um, <clears throat> each time you will have some quizzes to make sure that you understand everything properly. You will have some assignments to do in order to make sure that you understand everything. This is the overview of everything that you will go with. As you can see, you have jury in the end. You have the mini, the different courses which go all along. The big block is about the UX research course, like the four full weeks that you can see here. OK, so beginning, uh, we go with a quick, quick kickoff, basically, to like just launch the, the major. And then you will start with collective intelligence. Uh, for collective intelligence, it's, it will be an intense two-day seminar based on the intercultural and collective intelligence. That's the perfect way to start the major, basically, because thanks to that, you will 
learn a little bit more about the reality of the creative technologist job, but also you will have skills related to what should be a creative technologist, like uh, getting empathy, getting a little bit of creativity also, like all the different kind of stuff that you will need for every other moment in the major. Uh, so this, this will act as an icebreaker, a two-day icebreaker. And then, yeah, oh, one last thing about that. Um, like personally, as a student, it will help you to decondition, to have a, like a nice transition from the student posture right to a professional posture and like the creative technologist posture that we will which will be required for the rest of the class so that's the idea behind this course to have a smooth transition and start getting knowledge about what is a creative technologist while working in group for that part then we will carry on with the three the three courses which go along so you will have processing with AI, then designing with web, with connecting with IoT, all blended together. And then you will go with that for almost two weeks and a half. Here is a quick presentation of the different courses. First, uh, with processing with AI, which is related to artificial intelligence, you will learn the basics of AI by practice. The idea is to have a quick roundup of what is AI? How does it exist in the working environment, which are the tools that exist, what you can create with them? You will also go with like the, the ethical aspect of the AI, which is really important and relevant to work on that, like to get knowledge about this, about this, sorry. So that's the, the main purpose of AI, discover this technology, the different tools and its impact in the real world. Uh, mainly for that part, it will be in no code, which means like you won't go with Python or stuff like this. For the most part, you will go with no code tools. So you will have a, a graphical interface to work with AA, with all these different and powerful tools that exist in the AA field, from beginners one to more advanced one. But the idea is that you will use them, get used to them, and get all the implications related to those. OK, then we can move on and go with the second course, which is designing with web. As you may wonder, it will be focused on the web technologies. Um, in this course, you will doing on your own. You will create your first web page. You will manipulate data. You will. Uh, you will do a lot of things. Um, for the most part, you will discover what are the main web languages that built almost all the, the websites in the world. So you will go with HTML, you will go with CSS, you will go with JavaScript as well. You will discover a little bit more about what are the databases, how does it work. You will have a quick overview of how does the user experience exist in the web environment? Like, why creating websites? How do I think about the user experience and how do I make it happen in my website? So for this, um, I don't know, but if you want to later, like for your own company, to go on and create um, a landing page to present your activity, thanks to that course, you will be able to, you, you will have a key to go with that. Um, for the course, you will discover a lot of things, but um, as I was saying in introduction, you can still like, after the class, go reach us and ask like ask us any question that you have. If you want to go further about, okay, what are API and stuff like this, we are here to help you and to give you like everything that you want to go further to get further from the course and like like take the best that you can from the from this major basically. Okay, and last, uh, it's connecting with IoT course, which is related to electronic plus IoT, so Internet of Things. Um, basically, in this course, you will discover the basics of electronic, like 
every every aspect that you can require to create your first um, your first prototype your first prototype electronic your first electronic prototype sorry also you will as for the other courses but you will discover like all those those technology exist in the nowadays environment all those big companies being industries are working with this technology or or like creating some new object new stuff but the main purpose you will also discover discover sorry about the tangible interaction for the web for the ai mostly you will like mostly interact with ai or with website through your like the interface of your computer of your phone and stuff like this for the iot you go in the real world so you will be able to discover a little bit more about tangible interaction how do i create an interface in the real world like how do i interact with a robot and stuff like this that's the main purpose for these parts it will be with a little bit of code we you will discover the arduino languages which is based on c plus plus not on python um, like you will create your i think like you will create for the most part of you your first program with c plus plus which is like Every student were a bit afraid at first this year because it's like it's really can getting overwhelming to discover new languages uh, in a in a short time like this. But in the end, you will be like really proud of yourself because in two weeks you will discover all this and you will be able to create many many different things. And as I was saying as well, like you will have two teacher related to these courses, we will be there every time to help you to make sure that you understand everything properly. You will be able to test on your own, as I was saying, thanks to the, the learning by doing, you will be able every time that you discover something to test it, to make it happen, to create a robot or whatever, but you will every time do stuff and make it happen like in the real world. You will create your first robot, you will be able to do stuff such as getting the temperature of a room, displaying it online, um, like everything like this. So, okay, I take too much time on that part. Um, so here we go with that first part, which is basically uh, gaining new competencies all around this field, artificial intelligence, the web, the IoT. After this, um, we will go on with the first part of a UX research course, which is basically um, learning a little bit more about the topic that you will have, like the field where you will work after, but I will explain it a little bit later. For now, the focus in, is on the Maker's Bootcamp. Um, as it's written, the Maker's Bootcamp is a graded event where you will re-employ everything that you have seen previously in the web, AI, and IoT courses. Um, the main purpose of this three day is to like have time to make sure that everything is understand properly and also to start creating some connection between those technology. Like how does I make uh, I yeah I make live AI inside of a website, how do I link web and uh, electronic and stuff like this, like to start creating some connection because it will be the main purpose of the group work, which happened just after. And here we are with the UX research course. Okay. I hope you can read that. Uh, anyway, this text is taken from the website that I just present you before, so you can just like get there, have a closer look and make sure that everything is clear for you. Um, the main purpose of the UX research course is that you will go with a methodology from design, which is quite a strong and mostly like worldwide use uh, methodology. It's the double diamond. Uh, it's a fourth step process where you will have to um, go into a field that we, we will give you at the beginning of the project. You will go on your own, um, meet user, meet the place, um, like meet the reality of the place mostly. 
thanks to that, you will be able to draw some relevant problematic that you can see, like the pain point of some user, the way they're interacting with the place, etc. Like getting real knowledge from that, from your experience. And then thanks to this, you will be able to then problematize, like saying, okay, I will work on this particular people in that particular place in that particular time, maybe. Like being able of problematizing stuff, it's a really important knowledge that you must have when you will carry on and go in your future job. It's really, really um, an important and strong skill that and strong skill that you must have to carry on. Okay, so this is all about the discover part. Then we go on with the defining part. So define and develop goes together, basically. Now that I have my problematized, like I know where I'm going, what I want to answer as a question, I will try to prototype it. Uh, prototyping can have like different way of going. I can, I can go like straightforward. Okay, I know what I want to go with. I directly take technologies, make it happen, and create a project. Boom, straightforward. That's exactly not the way we are going in this course. The idea is that you will try stuff, fail, and then redo it. Like I do, I undo, and I redo after. That's the process of iteration. That's the thing that uh, we want you to discover at this because it's the most important skill that you can go with when you're on a team and you need to make something happen, like create a, a POC, a first version of your prototype, a monster prototype, as you may know this. So you go with cardboard, with cardboard, you go with some paper and stuff like this. And then you go back to your field, the initial user that you have seen, you make him test your solution with cardboard and stuff like this. And then thanks to that, you will get some knowledge about, okay, um, I interact with the solution that you prototype, but it's not exactly what I wanted, what I need. And then thanks to this user test, you will get some knowledge. You didn't take, uh, like you did not spend any money because it's cardboard. You did not spend that much time because it, like it's cardboard, it's cardboard still. And then you go on, you do a second version of it uh, with the knowledge that you gain. You go again to the to the field, you test it, etc. And like this, like step by step, you go on and you will finally have a strong a strong product which is related to a user need that you get from your problematic. And then you can make sure that it makes sense, that your ID makes sense, and that you can go on with that. If you want to to create your company and stuff like this is mostly important because um, creating a product is quite expensive to go with basically. And thanks to process like this, you will be able to make sure that you go step by step. You do not um, like waste your money. You can make sure that everything will work. Uh, also the other thing related to that course as I was saying is that you will have the opportunity to discover uh, many templates, many tools from designer that you will have to test on the field. By example, you will go and build some interview grid, some field survey. All of these are like tools that you will have at the beginning of a project to go to a place, to talk to people, to get um, the notion of pain points they're facing and stuff like this. And then you will get knowledge from the field, as I was saying, but also thanks to this tool, you will be able to test them to make sure that they fit to your need. Maybe you will have to adapt this tool to make sure that they perfectly fit what you wanted to get. The idea behind that is that during this course, you will um, have knowledge about the process. How do I conduct a project, a group project? But also you will be able to test the tools directly. This tools is like the one that you will use in your future uh, in your future job. Like um, you can go in every company that you want, you will be able to reapply those tools. That's the main purpose of this course is like to have some kind of um, 
project where you can try, test, fail, and just get knowledge from that. That's the main purpose. That way, after the course, you will say, okay, now I am capable of going on my own, reuse them, and make a project happen from scratch. So that's the main idea of this course. Plus, you will gain some strong knowledge about design process, design tool, and stuff like this. So it makes sense, and it's really important that you get all of those. OK, so that's it for that part. Then we carry on, and we finally go to the last week of class, which is the Sprint Agile. It's like another, um, yeah, another format for events. On these, um, it's like focus, especially focus on the IoT. For the UX research, you will be able to blend, to mix um, web, AI, and IoT to create uh, your project, to build your solution, basically. You will mix them to make a project happen. For that Sprint Agile, it will be more focused and related to the IoT part. <clears throat> the, the stuff is that you will be able to reuse the knowledge that you get from uh, the previous parts, the individual parts, the technical individual part, and also from the group project that you just finished. The idea is that you can go with this and be able in four days to create a project. Like in a really short amount of time under pressure, you will be able to boom to create stuff. You will have like two different temporalities. The long one, where you can test the test the tool, make sure it works, go back to field, etc. You have time to you have time, that's it. And then for the sprint agile, it will be shorter, it will be more intense, and you will just like go boom, 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 and make it happen. That's the idea. You will work with the ESAD students, which is like the school of art from Saint Etienne. Um, you will have students your age, which will be here with you. Uh, they will help you to make your prototype even better, even better, sorry, that you created in the group work. That's the, that's the main idea. And also go with some transdisciplinarity because you will be able to discover all their work, their reality. And like it's, it's good stuff to, to blend and mix with other students to have that knowledge. Uh, last, uh, we finish the major on the last day with a jury. In this jury, you will have many things to present. You will have the group project from the previous four weeks, and also you will have the, the Sprint Agile of Creot to present. So it will be an intense day, but it's like the, the best way to finish the, to finish the major because you will have some professional getting here just to hear about your project. So you will be in a position like to present what you have done, what you have like spent time on it, and just like show to them what you have built, the way it works, etc. The idea is that also you you will be able to document your project, which is something really important. All along the different project, you will um, explain the process what you have learned, what are the tools that work, that don't work, how you like how you improve them. And um, yeah, how you will improve them and then you will have time to present it during the, re the jury. That's the, the main point of it. Um, I will just go back a few steps because I didn't mention it. For the first part, the collective intelligence course, you will be in group like collective, it makes sense. Uh, then for the um, processing, designing, and connecting courses, it will be an uh, individual part. That way you can go at your own path, at your, at your own rhythm, and make sure that everything is clear for you. Um, especially if you want to, like, to get further from the course, we will be here to get you individual clues to, to get further. Then for the bootcamp, um, you will work in group also, but like smaller group, you will be two or three normally, and you will carry on with that. For the UX research, 
uh, as, yeah, it will be a good project. As you can wonder, you will be by four or five, something like this. The idea is that you will be able to um, split the job, like to define uh, who can work on that. This will help you to handle the product manager uh, position. Like you, you will be mostly free in the way you want to organize the work, the job, the team, the teamwork. But the idea is that if you you know that you want to work as a product owner in a digital field and stuff like this, we will be here to help you like to take that position. You can try uh, with the rest of the group to make sure that you you handle it properly and you're fine with that, like to gain confidence. And then you can go with internship or directly in the in the labor if you want to to work on that. In your job, sorry. And uh, lastly, for the connecting with IoT, uh, it's group work as well. But you will be blend with the the ESAD student, the student from the School of Art. So again, it will be a bit different from what you may have already seen from the major. So that's it for all the different courses that make the major. If you want to learn more, as I was saying, you can go back to the website. You will have um, more detail and explanation about those. I will quickly go back to introduce you one more stuff. OK, place my head here. Uh, you have a section, which is the project section. In this, you will find the project from IoT, AA, and web courses. Uh, you can get some detail about that. The idea is that you will find some photograph about that, like how does the project ex exist? What are the tools that you will use? Uh, as I said, uh, we always go from almost scratch. By this, I mean like you will go with paper, with pen, with cardboard. It's exactly what is happening here. You have a user scenario, which is presenting like the different step to interact with a project. Then you go with a cardboard version to quickly show like the way it's uh, placed, the way it exists, the way a user is supposed to interact with that. <clears throat> then you carry on with some user tests, which are displayed here. And then we go a little bit um, further with the prototyping part. Here we, okay, I will zoom in. Here we went with some laser cutting parts. So as you can see, we have different pieces from the game, which are here made with um, laser cutting machine. And then we carried on because it's the connecting with IoT course. We went with uh, some electronic parts as well to make everything happen. So here you have more images about the, um, the way the, the prototype was built. In the end, we ended up with this kind of results. So you have like, the plate, you have a different part, etc. For this project, uh, it was built during the, um, uh, the Sprint Agile. It's the really like the end of the courses from the major. Uh, it's an interactive project to aim children to like raise awareness about ecological responsibility from cities. Uh, the idea is like to it takes place in museum and child can go with that and just interact with this in order to create a city, a city which is responsible ecologically. That's the idea. <clears throat> um, like if you want to discover more, you can take time to read that. But that's the kind of project which are created during the major. You will have time to discover more about the AI, the web project, and more about IoT as well. So that's it for the project part, the stuff that you can create during the major. Um, now it's time for the, not the warning, but like the amount of work that it represents. As you have seen, okay, before talking about that, I will go back to the agenda. As you can see, you will have some free day during the major. The idea is not like to make you work during those. It's like free time. It's time that you will have to, especially if you are interna international students, like to have time to discover the country, um, like have time for yourself, for your, like with your classmate and just relax in those. But uh, during the time of course, 
as you may know, the major will bring you 20 ECTS, so the credit ECTS, which is supposed to represent between 500 and 600 hours of work. Um, like it's not, you will not exactly spend that amount of time, but it's to give you an idea of like the total amount of work that it represents in the two months of the major, like something like this, which means that it will, like you will have to be super organized to make everything happen on time to make sure that you can take all the quiz, you can uh, join the group work and stuff like this. Uh, there will have no trap, uh, like no identer and stuff like this. The idea is that we will start a course, end the course, then go on with another course, etc., etc. Um, we will try to not give you like um, you won't have like projects to do while doing another course. That's the main idea. Uh, it won't be three. It won't be true for the like the part where you have designing, connecting, and processing with AI together, because for that part, we are like we have to make it happen in the same time. In order you have time to work on the different project, but you, you like you will have time dedicated to personal work, basically. That's the idea. During the day, you can do everything. That's the, the main idea behind that. And if you want to go further to discover new stuff, we are here to give you this the skis and if you want you can work at home also to make sure that everything is clear and that you can take the most of the major um, last but not least is about the, um, the location of where the major takes place uh, as you may know we have three campus campuses on uh, Fr in france we have one in paris another one in lyon and this third one is in saint etienne uh, the major will take place in saint etienne so it's like <laughs> the red targets on the map. Um, like um, the city is quite cool, actually. It's uh, the, the smallest city of the three campuses that you can go with, but it's like the, the, yeah, the best one you can go with, I would say. Um, from Saint-Étienne, in one hour, you can travel to Lyon, you can travel to Ardèche, you can like discover really beautiful places. And then two hours road, you are basically can go to the Alp if you want to go skiing because in the major, it starts in October to end in December almost. So during weekends, you can go skiing. It's like two hours away in the, with the highway to the French Alps. So you can definitely go skiing. And you can discover um, like all the different region and places all around Saint Etienne. So it's pretty nice actually. So I really encourage you to to go to this major to discover all this. Okay, um, I'm just checking my note to make sure that I say everything I was supposed to say. Um, okay, seems good. I will just go with. Uh, one recap that I may did not have say, it's about the different courses that you will have. Every time in each courses, you will have one teacher and one like TA teacher assistant, which will be here to help you debug, make sure everything is working, etc. cetera. Um, there is one last thing that I didn't say about this website. If you want to reach me by email, you can directly send me an email. You will have my address linked to that. Last thing is that about the alumni testimonies that I explained about it a little bit earlier. So you will have like short video, short format video to have like testimonies from alumni students, like they are presenting why did they choose the, this major? Uh, what did they gain from this major? Which are the two main things that will make sense for you. And they will answer, I think, Quite of a question that you might have about the major, about what it is supposed to bring to you and what you will gain from that. So, yeah, you can definitely check those videos. And if it does not answer all your question, you can reach us by reach me by email. Sorry, I will be glad to answer you and to to make sure that you get all the information that you may need to choose this major. I really hope that you will choose this major because we are like. Uh, working year from year to make it um, 
like that's that way you can take the, the most of it to make sure that every tool, every course, every lesson, every class will make sense and will bring you stuff that you will be able to reuse in your professional life. Um, also, like even if um, you don't want to be a creative technologist, as I said in the introduction, it's fine like, because you will be able to go like in many different job fields application after the creative technologist major. You will be linked to other like to alumni students, so you will be able to ask them your question, etc. So I think you will find your place in 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 the in the major. So I hope so. Okay, see you soon. I was glad to present it to you, and I hope to see you soon. Bye, everyone.